I've just counted up and we're on week nine of discombobulation. Um, it all started in um, February, on the 20th of February, when the first job planned was the tree surgery and all those trees being, uh, five trees I think he took down. Um, so that's when it all began, the whole getting up, getting up in the morning, which is not what we do. It was like being back at work. Um, so that happened and then the next thing was the upstairs bathroom and then um, these two jobs sort of started at the same time. This job that they're still finishing off this week um, indoors and um, the micro station. <clears throat> so we're on the last week. It's now Wednesday. No, it's not. It's Tuesday. Um, so we're on the last week. This morning they have painted the first coat of the ceiling in the lounge. Um, they've got beams to paint, they've got skirting boards to paint. Um, so we won't see the colour on the wall probably at, at the earliest until tomorrow. I'm really looking so, forward to seeing that. Kitchen is all done of our, of our um, the electricity. The electrician needs to come back Friday and he's got spotlights to put up and the lighting to put up. So, um, But there's no furniture in there. I'm waiting for furniture to come back at the weekend. Fingers crossed. Um, it's been a long process and there were times, as you know, where um, nothing was happening and, uh, you know, it was, I don't know, it was sort of March, sort of late March, you know, and it, it just, I, it's sort of sitting talking to Mark about it just now and saying, it all seemed so dark, you know, and we were stuck in his bunker and um, the kitchen wasn't where it should be, all of the kitchen equipment wasn't where it should be and a lot of that's come back into the kitchen now. I'm just missing my big wooden work surface with the drawers for cutlery and, and whatever and the baskets for some implements and I'm wish missing another um, long unit that has the bread maker on it, the kettle, the toaster, the coffee maker, la la la. So I, I like the colour of the kitchen, very happy with that, happy with the ceilings, really happy with it, happy with um, what has now become a laundry room, which was a bathroom with a bath in it that neither of us had used for years, was just getting dirty and having to be cleaned every so often. So it's really nice. That's gone. So now we've got a washing machine and a tumble dryer in that room and, and a toilet. And it's really nice to walk in there and it's just... It looks like it, that's how it should, it should be, a laundry room or whatever you want to call it. Um, and um, later on in the year we'll tit, tart tit it up, tart it up a bit. Um, not that it matters, it's not important. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy that, they're, that, that we're on the last leg. It's, be, it's tiring having somebody here or people here from 8 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock at night. We're, you know, we, Mark and I, <clears throat> live very happily in our bubble we don't have we don't entertain a lot we used to when we first came but as we've got older and I became ill it's something that we did less and less of um, and we're just happy plodding along doing our thing in our bubble and having our bubble invaded on a daily basis um, so early in the morning is um, is is wearing I suppose so that's all going to end on Friday. Well, it isn't because the furniture people need to come back with the furniture, but then it's going to end and we can close the gates for a bit before we disappear. Um, so that's that's that really. Um, he's gone to art. So I'm watching a butterfly. I'm doing this watching a butterfly. He's gone to art. Um, I had a bit of a siesta, but not long enough. Um, so I'll just go back and... I think the part of the problem is that I could occupy myself. I could go upstairs and do some cleaning. Um, and I did I did do a lot up there the other day until I hurt my hand again. Um, so I could do that. But I've got a cleaner booked for next week anyway. And I'll just be paying her to, to come when I've already done the cleaning up there. It's really dusty up there now, I noticed, because what they did this morning was they sanded down the ceiling before they put the first coat on it. So they use a machine that's got a big sort of disc on it, um, sort of sanding disc, which is attached to a hoover. 
so they are you know um taking a lot of the dust as they're making it but a lot of that i've noticed today has drifted upstairs so there's quite a lot for vicky to do when she comes but downstairs won't really need much doing because when they clear out of there on friday they clean up really well after themselves and um they you know they really it, it'll all be hoovered with a very heavy duty industrial hoover it'll get mopped and i'll mop it again because when i noticed they mopped the kitchen it wasn't quite how i would have done it so i'll mop that room again which would be really nice to be able to do it before the furniture comes back in um, so there won't be a lot for her to do downstairs, it'll all be upstairs. So I need to leave her plenty to do, really. I was, um, I was, <laughs> was I shocked? Yes, I was shocked. Well, not shocked, not shocked completely, but I'm not really sure what the word is, but to find my mother's name suddenly appearing commenting nastily about me on yesterday's vlog was like what the fuck it's like my, my mother who's been dead since i always get her and dad muddled up the dates of their death but my mum's been dead a long time and there she is making snarky comments and i thought for a, it didn't take me long to think that's my older sister who i've not spoken to since soon after my dad died which again was possibly 2011 um oh, what are you doing digging down there don't you knock my tripod um so i haven't had anything to do with her she she's uh oh yeah that's a cat what you doing ah. for yonks um, she gave my dad a hard time when we thought he was on his deathbed. She stood at the end of his hospital bed and berated him about something or other, which was an awful thing to do when we thought, we all thought that, you know, this was the last time we might see him. And um, actually he lived for another year, but that's not the point. She was just so awful, awful to him. And I can't even remember what that was about now. Anyway, so it was a bit it was a bit of a surprise to find her rearing her head because I've not had anything to do with her and um I've not poked her that I you know she's got her own um Facebook page. I can never remember what the name what name she's under. She's had various names throughout her life. She keeps changing her name and changing yeah, that's what she does. So that was a bit of a shock and then she came back with another name her name her old her the name i knew her as when we were growing up she came back with that and then she came back with fat calf well the only people that call me calf were my mum obviously her my sister um, and there's one other person that calls me calf it's that most people call me Cathy. and all these profiles had been created yesterday so i don't know why she suddenly decided to attack me um, i'm sure I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she can't be a follower of the Chateau Diaries. So I don't know how I may have appeared on her YouTube feed. No idea. But all of a sudden, so I sort of half expected to get up this morning and find that she'd come back as um, Ishtar Babilu Dingwa, which is another name she used. Um several years ago which is why we call her Ishtar Dim Dingbat um, but she's now going by another name and I just think you know that's really that's just really sad isn't it when you can't make up your mind what your name is so yeah that was interesting the other thing that that I question and I've questioned it when people have said it before when they've got really angry with me for my vlogs about the shadow a lot of people uh, possibly as a knee-jerk I don't know but possibly as a knee-jerk reaction um, accuse me of being jealous and I know I've laughed about it in the past a long way a long time back but um, I and I do ask them well what am I jealous of what what do you think I'm jealous of and none of them answer me and I would really like to know what they think I'm jealous of because I see nothing there to create 
jealousy in me. I'm not a naturally jealous person anyway. I think probably as a child, but then as children, we all potentially see things that others have got and, and covered them and are jealous or, you know, I had, it didn't, there were things I didn't have in my childhood and I saw that friends had got them and I would be jealous if you want to use that word, that they'd got them. But but you grow out of that, don't you? You grow out of jealousy. Um, I certainly don't have any jealous feelings. I, I, I certainly wouldn't want to be living the life that, that, that Stephanie is leading. I wouldn't want to be living in a cold, damp, crumbling castle. Um, so I'm not, I, I'm not jealous of that. Certainly not jealous of Philip. <laughs> That's what I laughed about before certainly not jealous of that i love my husband he is my soulmate i wouldn't exchange him for anything um and i wouldn't exchange the life we have for anything so i i i, I really don't understand why people say that i don't understand why they call me bitter because i'm not bitter um i I don't know. I mean, I, I sincerely believe I'm not bitter. I I don't know what bitter feels like. I don't know what it looks like. I wouldn't be able to point out a bitter person. So that might be that I'm blind. That might be that I don't see it in myself, but I don't. And uh, um, so again, I, I don't know what those accusations are. I know people get angry with me when I speak um, my truth about what I see. A few people have said, well, you must be watching it to know all this detail, la, 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 la. I watched it yesterday because I saw what Tattle had written. I saw how angry people were. And before I vlogged, I went, went to watch it to make sure that I was vlogging about something that, that was what they had said rather than vlogging about hearsay. So I, I made sure I watched so I could see what I was vlogging about. But otherwise, I do not watch because, as I discovered yesterday, it's really not very pleasant for me to watch it. It's pleasant for many of you to watch it, and that's fine. Um, but I made a lot of you angry. Well, a lot of you have decided to be angry. It's, I don't make you. You don't have to watch my vlogs. That's, that's up to you. Um, and uh, somebody said something about, well, you made sure that we would see it because you put Lalonde in the title. Well, because that's what I'm talking about. I also used um, tags because that's what I was talking about. Um, whatever. So, yeah, please come back and tell me what I'm jealous about. I really am interested to know. I'm interested in a discussion. I'm not interested in... Um, shouting or people telling me to stop what do you think you're doing it's like well no i won't stop this is what i do it's my channel i do other stuff um but yesterday i did that and today i'm doing this and tomorrow who knows if that bloody wisteria at the front would hurry up and come out that's the kiwi behind me not the wisteria i would be filming that um yeah so one other thing somebody said um that they could hear my voice behind the the um, cartoon character in the Chateau wrap up um, vlog podcast. It wasn't. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I, why would I hide behind a cartoon character? I don't hide. I'm not anonymous, as you have noticed. Um, it was behind Chateau doors, and. I think she said, I, God, this is going to really piss her off. It's really naughty of me to forget. And I'm sorry, I forgot. I'd be busy, um, Sam. And um, she's in Australia. She's the one that does the very fast Australian um, behind Chateau Doors vlogs, which are very clever. Um, and that was her on the podcast. Um, I was invited some time ago to be, if I wanted to be part of that collaboration, and I declined. Um, I've declined a second time, but but I might join in in June. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it wasn't me. Well, I wouldn't be hiding. I don't hide. A lot of you people on your keyboards are hiding, but I'm not. So that's that. 
and now I'm going back in and um, let's see what tomorrow brings. <laughs>